Hello everyone, it's Douglas C. Welch with another episode of In the Garden for a Gardener's Notebook. For more information, visit our website, douglasewelch.com. There you find links to a gardener's notebook as well as everything else that I do. Well, the tomatoes are looking a bit sad. I got these out in the garden way too late in our season even, really, although I do see another uh, stem coming up there. But today is all about these guys. It's time to get our garlic in the ground. Um, I was a little late getting garlic in last year, so I wanted to make sure. I even put it in my calendar this year and said, you know what? I want to get it in the ground so it has more time to grow. We actually grew some successful garlic in these containers last year. They just ended up being a little bit smaller than I wished, so I'm hoping by getting them in and giving them a full growing season, they'll perhaps get a little bit larger. Now, where others are very picky about the kind of garlic they grow, um, I am doing again this year what I did last year, which is I simply went to the grocery store and got a head of garlic uh, to, so we can use some to plant out and some in the kitchen. Um, in the future, if this becomes successful, I'll probably go out and actually start purchasing various varieties. But for now, this is going to do us. And that's all we've done is we've just broken up the head of garlic and uh, you basically shove it in the ground. How easy can that be? I mean, you take a clove and down you go, typically. This soil in the container is soft enough that I can easily push it down or perhaps drill with my finger. You do want to have the root side down, of course, makes it easier. I've heard that the garlic will still come up. It'll just take a little while longer to, to right itself up and come back up the right way, but it still will probably still grow. But that's about it. I mean, that's all there is to planting garlic here. We're going to plant some in this container here. We're actually going to plant some below the tomatoes in that container over there. I think between this head, that'll fit well between these two beds. And otherwise, we just wait until they sprout. And hopefully next spring, we'll get a nice harvest of garlic out of here. That's it for this short episode of In the Garden. For more information, visit the website, douglasewelch.com. There you'll find links to a gardener's notebook as well as everything else that I do. Until next time, keep on planting up your garlic. Keep on digging in your garden. And above all, keep on digging.